Wow, a cop who got fired from one department for lying to a supervisor got hired at another department in Haines City and they knew why he got fired and still hired him. And this is how cops work. You get fired from one department, you just work at another department. You uh, get in trouble for lying or you know, falsifying records or excessive force, just move over to a different county, work for a different police department, and do the same thing until you get caught and fired and have to move on. As we continue our community connection in Haines City tonight, we are not only looking at what makes this area unique, we're also sharing the stories that matter to this community. And earlier today, 10 Investigates has a new story for you that they've been putting together. New at six, they've uncovered information about a Haines City police officer accused and cleared of excessive force. Now, this is a situation situation our team has been keeping an eye on for more than a year. 10 investigates Jenna Bourne found out that the officer resigned from his last law enforcement job after being accused of lying to his supervisor. That agency's records say his superiors would have fired him if he hadn't resigned first. We found out Haines City Police knew about it and hired him anyway. See, this is what happens with these types of cops. They get hired at another department, their behavior escalates because you know, they can get away with it by just going to a different department and they end up killing people. Haines City Police records say this all started with a traffic stop over dark window tint. Get on the ground. Can you tell me for what? Get on the ground. Can you tell me for get what? Now. For what? Put your hands right back. Oh! Put your hands right back. No! Now, put your hands right back now. Oh! Put your hands right back. Oh! You just... Put your hands right back now. Oh! Put, put your hands right back. Are you serious? The video... Yeah, this cop should have been put in prison for this kind of behavior. I mean, if anybody else did this kind of stuff, they would be in prison for violently assaulting people. But cops? They get away with it way too often. Videos appear to show Officer Justin Vasquez striking Miranda Brundage the third, throwing him onto the hood of a hot car and holding him down. Police records say Brundage resisted arrest and was legally carrying a concealed gun. Who dropped the ball? Activists asked the police department to fire Vasquez. They didn't. Nearly a year later, 10 Tampa Bay told you the police department issued what they called a letter of retraining, a memo pointing out what he could have done differently, but it exonerated him from complaints about competency and improper conduct. I don't see that uh, this was handled properly. I think there should have been another level of discipline for this officer. 10 Investigates has now learned. Yeah, he should, he should be put in jail for violently assaulting a person doing nothing wrong. It is insane how cops can break the law and all they do is what? Do you get some retraining? No, that's insane. If this happened in any other job, people would be put in jail for assaulting their coworkers or assaulting customers or assaulting their boss or whatever. Officer Vasquez made an abrupt exit from his last law enforcement job. Polk County Sheriff's Office records show he resigned from that agency in 2018 after they told him about an internal investigation into his actions. That investigation ultimately found Vasquez disobeyed his direct supervisor's orders to fill out paperwork about money seized during a search warrant, then lied about it. This letter of resignation says, So he stole money, didn't want to fill out the forms about that, since he would have to log in that he did find money and tried lying and got caught. Though this is something a lot of cops do when they find money at crime scenes. They will steal it. They will steal it from dead bodies. Um, they will search your house and take your money. And people, uh, cops have been caught on camera many times stealing money out of people's houses. I have made some personal decisions and I will be resigning from the agency. His superiors wrote they would have fired him if he hadn't resigned first. 
And this handwritten note says he is not eligible for rehire. Two years later, in 2020, Vasquez applied to the Haines City Police Department. His job application shows he told them he had resigned after allegations of misconduct. We checked with the Polk County Sheriff's Office, and this form confirms Haines City Police reviewed Vasquez's disciplinary file after he applied, so they knew about his history. We requested interviews with Vasquez to get his side of the story, and with Police Chief Greg Gorick about why Haines City Police hired someone with a documented history of lying, and who's not eligible for rehire at another agency. The city spokesperson told us neither were available for an interview, but sent us emails. Wow, it is. It is honestly hilarious how cowardly cops are when they are getting questioned by the media. They're always afraid to speak about anything going on because they know they're in the wrong. Emailed statements from Deputy City Manager Lloyd Stewart. He said, in part, during our hiring process, Vasquez provided an explanation to us regarding his departure from his previous agency, which, had it been provided at the time of the investigation, in our assessment, may have mitigated the allegations and resulted in a different outcome. The state attorney's office confirmed that the circumstances that led up to Vasquez's decision to resign did not and would not negatively affect their ability to prosecute future investigations. Vasquez was recently transferred from an officer to a detective position. A spokesperson for Haines City Police tells us this was not a promotion and it did not come with a salary increase.